Greetings, Metalheads. Welcome to another edition of the Friday 13th YouTube channel. Today, we're going to have got a fantastic album review for you. This is by a great power metal band, Firewind. Now, Firewind are about to release their new album called Stand United, released, released on AFM Records, and it's coming out on the 1st of March of 2024. This is a fantastic follow-up to the last album, Metalheads. Check it out. As we all know, Firewind was formed by Gus G, a fantastic guitarist from Greece. He's pretty much a guitar god. As we all know, he also joined Ozzy Osbourne and toured with him on one of his albums. Now, Firewind were formed back in 1998. As we all know, Gus G was at a guitar institute and learnt so much how to play guitar. He was discovered by Dave Chastain from Dave Chastain Band, also Leviathan Records. Dave Chastain introduced Gus G to a fantastic singer under the name of Stefan Frederick, who was a fantastic singer. Now, Stefan reminded me a little bit of Graham Bonnet. And the first Firewind album reminded me of Stand Alone album by Impelitari, a fantastic debut album. As we all know, Gus G has also been involved with other projects. One of his other main projects back in the day was Dream Evil. Fantastic band. If you've got the album The Book of Heavy Metal, you'll know what we're talking about. He was also involved with a band called Night Rage, also Mystic Prophecy. Now, Stefan also teamed up with drummer Brian Harris, and they released a band called Kenzie, released an album on LMP Music. Drummer Brian Harris was also involved in later years with a hardcore band called My Own Victim. He released a couple of albums on Cinchy Media, Media Records back in the mid-90s. Brian Wynn's debut album was called Between Heaven and Hell. This was a fantastic debut album. Originally released on Massacre Records and Cinchy Media re-released it. This album also featured on bass guitar, Contestini. With the successful album, the band was soon recorded the second album from My Massacre Records and Leviathan. This was called Burning Earth. This was released in 2003, and this album would see a new rhythm section. We'd have Stain L. Crosterston from the band Pagan's Mind on, on drums. We'd also have Petros Christio on bass guitar, who was a long-time member of Firewind to this day. The band's third album, Forged by Fire, was a fantastic album released on Cinch Media Records. This album also saw keyboard player and guitarist joining the band Bob Contasinus as a fantastic musician with vocalist Shitty Ch Champola on vocals. Next album, Allegiance would see new vocalist Apollo Patheosi on vocals, a great vocalist. This album would also feature new drummer Mark Cross. In 2017, the band would release an album called Immortals. The band changed lineup for this album would have Hanin Bass on vocals. You may know him through his band, The Metallium. And Johan Newhaz on drums, who's currently in the band now. The last album, Firewind, which was self-titled, featured new singer who's currently in the band now. His name is called Herbie Anders. He was also involved with the band Voodoo Circle. So now I'm going to tell you about the new album, Stand United. This is a really good follow-up to the last album, Firewind. It's a very strong album, excellent production, very technical songs, very melodic, with some fantastic guitar and, and rhythm sections, as well as some fantastic vocals. This album was produced by Gus G, Herbie Landis, and also Dennis Ward. Now, Dennis Ward is a fantastic producer. You may know him through his previous bands. He's also involved with a band called Pink Cream 69. He's now in Magnum, but he's a fantastic producer. He's done some brilliant albums in the past. So as you can imagine, with these three guys on board, the production is second to none. The artwork was done by a guy called Costin Chirinaru. He's a fantastic artist. If you look at the artwork, as you'll see as I'm reviewing this, it looks like Medu Medusa was kind of pissed off. She looks like a whirlwind with loads of different pictures. Like she's, she's in chaos pretty much. But it's a really good artwork for this album. This is look, going to look good as a fantastic for a t-shirt on the next tour. Now, Gus G has his own style of guitar playing, but he also has resemblances Zach Wilde and Jerky Lee, not to forget Randy Rhodes. As you can tell, he's very much influenced by Ozzy Osbourne guitarist. But he has his own style as well. He's a brilliant guitarist. So this album contains 10 songs. I'm going to tell you what the song titles are before we roughly talk about the album. So we will open up with Salvation Day, Stand United, Destiny is Calling, The Power Lies Within, Come Undone, Fallen Angel, Chains, Land of Chaos, Talking in Your Sleep, and the last one is called Days of Grace. So that's the song titles for this new album. Now, the opening track, Salvation Day, is a fantastic beginning. It's very mellow at the beginning, but as soon as Gus G kicks in, he does this fantastic solo, which leads into fantastic vocals by Herbie. It's an all-round classic power metal song. Herbie's got a real raspy, graspy voice, and it kind of reminds me of the singer from Mystic Prophecy. And I have to say, for the opening track, this is definitely a great song. Herbie's vocals are much better on this album as they were to the previous album, which is just called Firewind. 
If you like previous albums by Firewind, such as Allegiance and The Premonition, this is a great album. If you like those two albums, you're really going to enjoy the new album, Stand United. The guitar solo I have on this song kind of reminds me a little bit of Mike Amott from Arch Enemy or Jeff Loomis. Really well composed guitar solo, fantastic all around song. Title track is the next song. Now, this is a more powerful song, real slap in the face, power metal melodic song. Herbie's vocals are fantastic. Brilliant guitar playing by Gus and the rhythm section by Johan and Petros is absolutely fantastic. It's a really powerful melodic power metal song. So it's certainly one of my favourite songs on the album, folks. Next up is Destiny's Calling. This is a really, really good song, folks. It's got some fantastic vocal harmonies. And this song is a little bit more keyboard orientated, but it's still a very powerful power metal song. It also kind of reminds me of the Dream Evil album in the Book of Heavy Metal, which is a cult classic album by Dream Evil, as we all know. The next song, The Power Lies Within, this kind of reminds me of Primal Fear. If you like the Primal Fear driving rough riffing songs that they do, this is a fantastic song for you. It's called The Power Lies Within. Brilliant vocals, brilliant rhythm section, all around a classic heavy metal song. Next song is called Come Undone. This kind of crosses between Halloween and also Metallium. It's got the, the galloping sort of Iron Maiden vibe to it, only slightly, but it's got a lot of Metallium in there. But it's a really, really good song. All around, I think this is a brilliant album. It's one of the best songs I've done in quite a number of years. So I'm going to give this album five out of five. It's by Firewind. It's called Stand United, and it's out on the 1st of March. Check it out, Metalheads. It's on AFM Records. Thanks for watching.